Hi guys, this is Cody again with AudioToots.com. Today we're going to be looking at a sort of um, talking dubstep bass that you hear a lot in really bass heavy music. Um, this is basically the sound. So you can hear, I've, I've added a kick and a snare just to add some little life to it, but it's basically a pretty simple patch. It's just one one oscillator, one filter, one effect, and um, some phase modulation, and I've added a classic tube, you don't really have to, you can just turn the master up, I like the classic tube because it adds a bit of grit, but basically, to make this patch, I'll start fresh, so this is a new instance of Massive, um, don't mind that, I've actually mapped that to my MIDI keyboard, because, yeah, save some time, anyway, to start out, we're just going to be using a dirty pulse wave modulator for the um, waveform. Make sure the mix is all the way up and the first filter is turned all the way up. The first filter is going to be a low pass. Turn the resonance up so it's nice and high. And keep the cutoff about 9, 10, 11 o'clock, that kind of area. And drag your attack, release, and your decay up so it's a nice big sound with really short attack. And Yeah. Okay, now for the modulation os oscillator, we're going to be turning this on and using phase modulation. Um, Again, with all my tutorials, you don't have to just copy exactly what I'm doing. I want you guys to sort of make it your own. But you can use, you know, a low amount of phase or a high amount of phase. They both have different kind of cool things that change the sound. Um, and for insert one, we're going to be using sample and hold. Now, this is sort of what makes it talk, I suppose. Um, turn the dry weight all the way up and turn the pitch up quite a bit. We're going to be using a macro to, to fine-tune this pitch because um, there's usually a few sp sweet spots in it that really help you find the, the sound that you're looking for. Um, turn on LFO, drag LFO 5 or whichever LFO you want to the cutoff of low pass filter 1 and then drag the um, range of it up a little bit. We don't want to put it too much because if you have it nice and high it's, it sort of does this weird clipping thing where it plays back on itself and yeah you don't want that. And then turn the synchronization on and we're going to be playing around with the ratio a bit later on to automate it. and so let's hear what this sounds like so far. Kind of boring. I'll turn this up so you guys can hear it a bit better. Really nothing to hear. Drag this cutoff up a bit. And you just sort of play around with the settings. Um, it's really a simple patch. The only the only tricky thing about it is finding the sweet spots in like the um, the phase and the this pitch of the um, sample and hold. Okay, so I'm going to be drawing in some automation and I'll cut it here and then be back in a few seconds. Alrighty, so here's the automation. Um, not too difficult to do, you can just double click if you're using Ableton to add a point, double click it again to remove it and drag them around. Um, and here's what the final sound should sound like. Remember, um, don't just copy my sound, sort of make it your own, you know, the usual stuff. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you find a use for it. Thanks, guys.